Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Cameron Phillips and this past week I had the opportunity to explore the Berkshires, which is a region in Massachusetts known for its vibrant art scene, food culture, and community, and I was so excited to be able to explore it and experience it firsthand. In this video, I'm taking you through my three days in the Berkshire, everything we did and everything I experienced and learned along the way. So if you're new, make sure to hit the subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below what you enjoy about the video, and with that being said, let's dive into the content. So we started our trip to the Berkshires with a drive down from Toronto. We drove down to Niagara Falls, then pretty much straight east all the way across the state of New York into Massachusetts and into the Berkshires. We just arrived after driving nine hours from Toronto and we're staying at Tourists in North Adams, Massachusetts. And this place is spectacular. Let me show you our room. Let me also quickly mention that the fall foliage is just starting to turn and it is so spectacular. The drive-in had incredible views over the hills as we rolled down into this valley Valley where we're currently located and we have a really exciting itinerary plan for the next couple days. This resort has this beautiful Scandinavian modern flair and there's so much incredible history to this place and design aesthetic. Let's take a look at our bedroom. Hello Brandon. Hello Cameron. We walked into soft music already playing on the radio and this beautiful aesthetic. There's a great use of light, warm wood tones throughout this modern space, but also kind of like has a bit of a cabin vibe. Incredibly stunning. And on top of that, this entire property has a whole bunch of amenities, including a speakeasy, which is located just across the parking lot from our room. This view out from the day bed is just absolutely spectacular right now. It's really doing it for me. I think this is so, 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 so beautiful. Our first property of the trip, Tourists, is an absolutely phenomenal resort. I wrote in my article, which is linked down below, that it's the combination of a Scandinavian lodge with a classic Americana roadside motel. And it's this beautiful sense of polished, yet casual, rustic, yet high class. And it was just, I love that mashup. It's such a beautiful combination for properties. Our room was so well equipped from the bedding to the hand soap, to the amenity kits, to the in-room bar. There was literally so much at such a high level of detail. I love tourists, it was an amazing place. And the view outside of the window was perfect as the fall foliage was just starting to turn to that beautiful brassy reds, orange, yellows, it was so beautiful. Hi Brandon. Hi Cameron. How we doing? Fantastic. Wonderful. Yes. So we just drove the seven minutes from our hotel over to a little area that is where we are doing our first brewery experience tonight. We're gonna head inside and see what they have to offer, and then we're gonna have a little barbecue for dinner afterwards, I think across the street. So I'm super excited. We're both hungry and ready for a beer, and let's go check it out. Our first destination, which was Bright Ideas Brewing on the campus of Mass Mocha. Now, Mass Mocha is an art museum that's become very well known around the world in North Adams, Massachusetts, which was the first city we were in. We were not actually going to Mass Mocha, but as part of the Mass Mocha campus, which is an old electrical factory that caused the business boom in North Adams many years ago. In this giant campus, this all this big factory warehouse type building, there are two places that piqued our interest and we decided to explore even more. The first, Bright Ideas Brewing, a local craft brewery that specializes in their Galaxy IPA, and let me tell you, it was delicious. Now this is where the trip really got off to a great start because we sat down with the co-founder of the brewery, Orion, who told us about the history of North Adams and the history of the brewery. And it was so immediately evident that this brewery has brought together the community of North Adams in a way that had not been done before. I think breweries are incredibly amazing because they form a beautiful sense of community because people rally around craft beer. It is casual, it's fun, it's alcohol, it's a social lubricant, and it really just gets people talking and relaxed, and especially at a place that's unpretentious, like a craft brewery in a casual setting with really, really great beer. I mean, it's just like win, 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 and the town did not have a brewery. There's only a few other breweries in the Berkshires, but none in North Adams, so it served a need and it was perfect. Immediately across the parking lot from Bright Ideas is AOK -OK Berkshire Barbecue. And we also met the owner and talked to him about how AOK -OK got started and the amazing food that they had. We had a full sample plate of this amazing quality roasted meat, pulled chicken, brisket. Oh my God, and the bread was phenomenal. It's a husband and wife duo. The wife bakes the rolls. The rolls were so perfect. AOK -OK Berkshire Barbecue was really quite phenomenal. And overall, this entire experience was a great way to get into the Berkshire attitude because we had that, just that great community sense. And that was what first tipped me off to the Berkshires being more about this giant sense of community. It's something that you don't experience in life every day. At least I don't experience in my hometown or in the city I live in now. I don't, I don't get that essence. But this is this 
region, this area that's a collection of small towns and everyone shares a lot of the same values and they look out for each other and everyone we met along the way. That night we headed back to tourists and stopped in at the airport rooms, which is their on-site speakeasy for a craft cocktail before heading to bed and waking up in the morning for another packed day full of exploration. So we're home from our brewery and dinner outing and it was honestly amazing. We learned a lot about the region and a lot about what is going on here in North Adams and the Berkshires in general. We had some amazing craft beers and some incredible barbecue. Great way to start our evening in the Berkshires. Good morning everybody, it is the start to our second day exploring the Berkshires and this morning we are checking out of Tourists, which was a great stay, super comfortable bed, super great accommodations. We just had a little breakfast and a little coffee moment which has gotten us charged for the morning. It is about to be a beautiful day. We are going to go off exploring and our first stop is at the Clark Institute which is an art museum just down the road. We're going to go check that out, hop in the car and then we are off to continue exploring this area. The next day started out at the Clark Institute, which is an art museum on this beautiful plot of land. We were led on a comprehensive tour throughout the intimate galleries and the beautiful facilities at the Clark Institute. And I love a good art museum, especially one that's laid out really well, super informative, super approachable, and getting people into art in, yeah, again, a very approachable way. That combined with the stunning natural setting of the Clark Institute, it was a great way to start the morning before we headed off to lunch at Guido's Fresh Marketplace, which is a artisanal grocery store featuring local local produce, organic items, an incredible wine selection, deli, and grab-and-go food, which is where we enjoyed a nice little lunch and hung out as kind of rain showers rolled through. It was a really beautiful day. We just had a little lunch at Guido's. We had some nice pizza and picked up some wine and some snacks, and we're gonna head into Chocolate Springs now, which is apparently one of the top 10 chocolatiers in the United States. We're gonna go and hopefully get a little sweet treat. Chocolate Springs is a world-class chocolatier. We sampled a variety of chocolates and they sent us home with some goodies too. We talked to Josh about the supply chain of chocolate, which I was incredibly fascinated with because, you know, we're talking about high quality chocolate. No one ever really thinks about where chocolate comes from, but talking to him about how they source and the agencies they work through to get these high quality chocolate beans that a lot of his came from Madagascar, but there's other, of course, chocolate producing regions and like the different characteristics that bre the beans bring and that level of quality they need to like establish and maintain. And all the while, Josh was incredibly humble, even though online he's one of the top 10 chocolatiers in North America, and it showed in the chocolate. It showed in the chocolate. It was incredible. My favorite was the French lavender flower infused chocolate squares with the Madagascar dark chocolate. Oh, it was exceptional. So we just heard the full story behind Chocolate Springs and the chocolatier who owns and runs the place, and it was actually very, very interesting hearing about the whole process of making chocolate and where this very fine, high quality chocolate comes from and the story behind it. And once again, we got the connection of community that the Berkshires seem to be known for in all of our interactions with people so far. This greater sense of a community centered around like wellness and people and just like the natural environment around us. And it's been really, really fascinating and beautiful to hear stories from people of this. And I'm so excited to actually like write about this and put more of my thoughts down on um, into an article at the end of this trip. So with the pl that being said, it's now 3.30 and we are off to our resort for tonight, which is called Canyon Ranch, which is a high-end spa property. And I'm very excited to go and experience this one tonight. And we may even try and get some leaf foliage nature moments on our way there. We will see, but with that being said, we're off. All right, everybody, so we've just checked into Canyon Ranch, which is a wellness spa resort in Lenox, Massachusetts, which is in the middle section of the Berkshires. And let me just say, I had no idea how fabulous this place is. This is a luxury spa property, and I could not be more ecstatic to show you guys this place. We just arrived in our room, welcome to our room. Um, it's beautiful, we have two very nice large king-size beds here, which is great. We have a nice bathroom, and this whole property has incredible facilities. This is incredible. I'm like, I didn't realize it was at this yeah. scale. 
Yeah. And of course, like most spa properties, I can't actually show you inside the spa. I won't be able to take photos or videos inside of there, but I will tell you about the experiences. We're gonna head down there right now and do a little relaxation. Then I have a massage booked and then we have dinner later on. This place actually features a variety of different programs too. There's a few different things like talks and speeches tonight, which I wish we could attend, but we already have dinner reservations made. So we will be doing that later on and I can't wait to update you on our experience here. But for now, we're gonna go relax, unwind and head to the spa. Candy Ranch is a luxury wellness resort and retreat in Lenox, Massachusetts, which was a little bit south from North Adams where we spent the previous night. We checked into top tier service. I'm talking about chairs already pulled out awaiting our arrival with gift bags full of program guides and water bottles with our names already on them and a perfect welcome to the full facility and experience that is Canyon Ranch. I talk so much about experience-based travel and this was definitely experience, but I felt like it was less of a traveler's experience and more of what people going to the Berkshires are going to do. They're going to restore, to rejuvenate, to relax, and Canyon Ranch is a facility that provides that for these people. This morning we're on our way to the Shaker Village, which is a historical site that we're gonna learn a lot of history and experience the Shaker way of life. The sun is shining. We've had some coffee. The next morning we were off early to Hancock Shaker Village, a living history museum that honors the Shakers and the community they built here in Massachusetts. Now the Shakers, I didn't know this, but it's a group of people who revolve around the Quaker religion. And they're known for the specialty of the way they worship, which is like a shaking style. So shaking Quaker is where Shaker came from. This was all new to me, but I will say it was incredibly fascinating experiencing this living history museum because it is like literally the buildings they lived in and the round barn, the iconic round barn, which the animals could like be led in and it had this, it was so ingeniously designed for the time in which it was built. And hearing about the whole community and how their system of life worked was incredibly fascinating. And a group of people that were behind in some aspects, but very ahead of the curve in other aspects. It was very interesting to kind of learn more about that and dive into the history of the Shakers and of their integration into the region and the Berkshires as a whole. Did you get it? Yeah. So we just finished our engaging experience at the Shaker Village. So tell me, Brandon, what do you think about the Shakers? Oh my gosh, I love the Shakers. After that, we headed to Pittsfield, another town of the Berkshires, to meet up with the Berkshire Natural Resource Council, which educated us about all the incredible natural resources in the Berkshires and how they are acting to preserve and connect locals and tourists alike with the various nature offerings in the Berkshires. So we just finished up our hike through the natural conservation land here in the Berkshires, and we learned an incredible amount of facts about the different varieties of plants and wildlife in the area. And it was honestly a really beautiful experience and nice to get outside on such a gorgeous day. Now, with that being said, we're gonna head back to the town of Pittsfield to check into our hotel for the evening and then head off to a mixology class. So let's head back to Pittsfield and check into our hotel and see what we have to offer. After that, we checked into our final property of the trip, which was Hotel on North in the town of Pittsfield. Okay, so we just arrived at our third property of the trip. We are at the Hotel on North in downtown Pittsfield, and we are going to chill for a little bit and then head out to a cocktail bar later on for mixology class, like I mentioned earlier. Super excited for that. So it's about four o'clock now, and we have a little while to chill and recharge our batteries and then head back home. So this room is very cute though. It's big, it's big. We have some nice exposed brick. We have a little sitting area and it's cute. Located right downtown in an old brick building, there was an incredible charm to the property and I loved our incredibly spacious room. Redesigned with modern touches, it was a really, really great place to spend our last night in the city. So it's been a few hours, we have freshened up and we're on our way to the cocktail bar for a little mixology and a little cocktail and a little food. For dinner that night, we headed off to Methuselah, a bar just down the street where we had an interactive cocktail creation class that was so exceptional. We learned about the ins and outs of making a Manhattan, a gin fizz, and even margaritas made with smoking the entire drink, which was something I had never done before, but it tasted so good. The owner, Yuki Cohen, was amazing. She's actually running for city council as well. It was incredible sharing stories and experiences with her and her giving us this incredible moment at Methuselah. The food was exceptional, the alcohol was exceptional, and overall, it was the perfect way to end our experience exploring the Berkshires. Cheers. To sum up our entire trip, it all came back to community. Everywhere we went, everyone we talked to, everything that we experienced 
all came back to the greater community of the Berkshires and a group of people working together to create a community inspired by nature, uplifted by art, and rooted in community. Aligning locals and visitors alike with the sense of peace that is associated with the Berkshires. If you'd like to learn more about the Berkshires, the link to explore their tourism website is in the description of this video as well as the article that I wrote online. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'm so excited to share more stories with you in the future. Bye bye!